Seymour Papert is an educator, a computer scientist, and an MIT mathematician. His learning theory of constructionism and programming language logos have heavily influenced the course of education today. Born in 1929 in South Africa, one of his earliest childhood memories is playing with gears. Before I was two years old, I had developed an intense relationship with automobiles. I became adept at turning wheels in my head and making chains of cause and effects. I found particular pleasure in systems such as the differential gear. I believe working with the differential did more for my mathematical development than anything I was taught in elementary school. This actually demonstrates Papet's learning theory. He says that education has little to do with explanation and more to do with engagement and falling in love with the material. I am convinced that the best learning takes place when the learner takes charge. The role of the teacher is to create the conditions for invention rather than provide ready-made knowledge. Imagine the child as Perpet would like him to be, in touch with his feelings and the situation, learning from personal experience. Perpet wants his students to learn to think, and he tried to invent objects that were good to think with. Logos is a programming language created by Papert in 1967 at the Epistemology and Learning Group, which he founded at MIT. Later, this would become MIT Media Labs, which still thrives today. Logos is designed to be simple enough for children and hardy enough for creation. He made Logos as a tool to be given to students for them to be able to build with and therefore learn with. Originally, Logos was used for children to move a small wired turtle on the floor. Children could program it through simple commands to move forward, backwards, and turn. Kids really like to get control over that computer. Children want to do things, learn things, to have control over their world. And they can do more with computers than they can anything else. Logos use exploded quickly. First with the advent of personal computers in the 1970s. It was developed for use on the Apple II and on Texas Instruments TI-99-4. Then in the, in the 80s, Logos was bundled into computers given away to schools. In England, Logos was used as part of the required curriculum, and in Japan, Logo Writer was in high use. Today, there are over 300 versions of Logos. In 1998, as a partnership with MIT Labs, LEGO's robotics invention system was created. This combines his earlier programming language, Logos, with physical LEGOs to create programmable toys. These were named LEGO Mindstorms after his book. With the creation of the programmable brick, LEGO Logos soon lost its wires. Now this Lego brick has a mini computer inside so that programs can be downloaded to the brick and detached from the host. Lego Mindstorms are a popular market for kids today. Robotics competitions are held nationwide where kids can showcase their programming skills. However, Papret's intentions go beyond this. He advocates to use computer programming to transform the nature of mathematics education itself. The scope of educational reform Papret is referring to is hard for most educators to conceptualize. He says that most mathematics we teach is Latin-esque in its usefulness, as opposed to driver's ed-like material. By removing some of the limitations, learning could be focused more on the concepts that lie behind the syntax of math. We can use computers to focus on larger applications like physics before smaller how-to details are mastered. Seymour Papert has stood for social justice. He has been active in the education systems in Costa Rica and Thailand. And he is the starter of the one laptop per child movement that has now swept the globe. In 2006, Papert suffered a terrible motorcycle accident. He undergoes therapy using some of the same techniques that he has taught us. 
Despite this, he remains an advocate for mathematical educational reform. He currently works in, in South Portland, Maine, at a prison where his team pilots a program for a juvenile youth correction center. The intention of my book Mindstorms was to deconstruct the necessity of school by showing that something very different could at least be imagined. I do not present logos environments as my proposal for doing this. They are too primitive, too limited. The role I hope they will fill is an object to think with that will contribute to the essentially social process of constructing the education of the future. There will be more tries and more and more, and eventually, somewhere, all the pieces will come together and it will catch.